sorry. The book is called Celtic Knot, and we have its author with us right now, Anne Shortell is with us. Nice to have you here. Thank you, Dylan. Wonderful. How are things? It's fantastic, thank you. It's yeah. been an amazing month since I did my first launch, and I, I launched here in Ottawa mm -hmm. uh, just the other day. And uh, Okay, cool. Uh, you've written some other books, though, uh, in the past, and, and you took a bit of a break. So how many books did you write before you got to this one? Three. In, an, in another century. In another century, like yes. okay, so like the pre-internet. So. Okay, pre to to the year two thousand is what yes, you're saying. Yes, exactly. Okay, so you took some time off. So what made you decide to uh, come back and write another book? I had a dream. I had a bad dream actually, and I awakened, and there was a, an image of a girl, like my girl here. Okay. And candlelight, and a single line. I was on the other side of the door when Mr. McGee was shot. Hmm. Okay, so and Mr. McGee is? Darcy McGee. Very famous Darcy McGee. Yes. Okay, so can you tell us the story of Darcy McGee for those who aren't familiar with it? Absolutely. Darcy McGee is the man who had the idea that there could be a political entity, a country called Canada, and his, of course his good friend Johnny MacDonald is the person who could pull it together, but he was a visionary. He was originally an, a rebel himself in Ireland, went to the United States, became a journalist, a great speaker, orator a poet and then came to Canada and became a politician mm -hmm. and then became very anti-Irish rebel and uh, he was supposedly assassinated okay. by a rebel. Supposedly? All right, so is that where some of the story takes place here then? It certainly does. Um, the last public, ha public hanging here in Ottawa was the last public hanging in Canada. Mm -hmm. 5,000 people were there at, at the... Uh, the old jail? The yeah, old the old hostel. jail. And uh, Jimmy Whelan was was hanged, but he always said he did not do it. Okay. And therein lies the mystery. Okay, cool. All right, so um, that's that's some story, and and obviously, I mean, uh, uh, Sir Johnny Macdonald has something to say with this story as well. Yes, he was de he was sure that this was the act of Fenian rebels, the Irish rebels, who wanted to disrupt this new country, which wasn't even a year old, so that they could draw the British over here, soldiers, and then have another rising in Ireland. And so Johnny MacDonald was very closely involved. Uh, he sat beside the judge at this trial in the, in the fall of 1868, mm -hmm. and he was there at the hanging, uh, and he was you know, pushing the investigation. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you actually wrote this story through the eyes, as, as you mentioned. Uh, of a young girl. Now, why through the eyes of the young girl? Well, it's history with a mystery. It's a twist of history. And there are many facts in the book, but it's actually fiction. I saw this young girl on the other side of the door opening it. Darcy McGee was her hero. She was alone in the country, and she felt that if she'd been able to get that door open, she could have changed history. She, he would have been safe. Mm -hmm. So. We have a young female lens on what was happening in the in Canada in politics at that time. She does end up working for Johnny MacDonald, mm -hmm. looking after his young baby daughter, and it gives you a her story, which is a, a lens we don't often look through when mm -hmm. we're looking at Canadian history. That is interesting. It's something actually happened to you as well. You were editing the book. Can, can I ask you actually? So, so when did you start writing this book? I had the idea in the fall of 2012. Okay. I had a book in the fall of 2016. I needed an edit. I was hit by the door walking in. I, like Darcy McGee, I did not get across my own threshold. Hmm. And then I was a finalist for a competition run by Crime Writers of Canada mm -hmm. called The Unhanged Arthur. If you can believe it, there is an, uh, a a hangman on the on the cover of the book as a result. Yeah, I see that, okay. And so I taught myself how to look at screens again so I could finish the book. Okay, so you suffered a con concussion. Yes. And how are you doing now? Well, uh, I now need to learn how to watch a lot of television because I've been training myself to look at screens and mm -hmm. uh, get back into this century yeah. rather than the 19th century. But you still overcame quite an obstacle yes. and now you have a book published, which yes, is another which book is published. An, and it's been amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, my first fiction, a uh, real renaissance for me, and uh, the response has been fabulous. That's great. Well, that's really good to hear. And I know that you have, obviously, an Ottawa connection. So uh, having that Ottawa connection, did that make it easier to write this book with, with of course, all these 
this yes. history happening here? Yes, because your personal history combines with the political history when you're writing any story. My father told me the story of Darcy McGee when we were standing in the Spark Street Mall when I was a young girl. And he was Irish-Canadian background. And uh, I think when I remember how he told it, his family might have been rebels. Mm -hmm. That wasn't my girl's take on it, but uh, that and the fact that my mother was an immigrant, and so this young girl coming here all alone, and the immigrant story in Canada that is happening, you know, right now is very important right now in this country, how we treat immigrants. Mm -hmm. About 45 seconds left, you've been doing some, uh, some book signings. I have, at Books on Beechwood here in Ottawa. And then this Saturday, I'm going to be in Kingston, mm -hmm. my hometown. And the home of Sir Johnny MacDonald, correct? And the correct? home of Sir Johnny MacDonald. So there's the connection, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bit of a connection. Are you going to wait uh, so long until the next book comes out? No, Clara is already telling me another story. Oh, is she? she yes, she is. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> She's going to be involved in another incident in Canadian history. Interesting. I'm looking forward to getting that uh, book in my hands sooner than later. Thank you, Dylan. And thank you very much for being here. The book is called The Celtic Knot. And, of course, we go to your website to find out more. Thank you. Thank you very much. More daytime coming up in moments right here on Rogers TV. Thanks for being here.